Hello guys, I hope you're fine. I got so many requests concerning license plate and how to install one on your car in Blender. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can do just that the easiest way possible. And of course, we will customize our own plate. So let's start just after this quick shout out. Hello everyone and welcome to the ride. My Blender car animation course created for beginners and intermediate users who want to get into car animation. I'm so proud to present this project. It's more than 64 videos and 11 hours of training and today I can finally share it with you. In this course you are going to cover all the topics you need to master in order to create your own 3D projects such as environment design, lighting, animation, camera animation, camera framing for TikTok, Instagram or YouTube short, smoke simulation, <laughs> DaVinci Resolve, sound effects and the list goes on. I will also provide all the necessary assets that you need to follow along. My updated city pack with skyscrapers, city props and 22 new buildings that you can use in all your animations. HDRI magic to create realistic animations in a few clicks and with the collaboration of Ashworth Cars, 3D Shaker and Zephyr 3D, you will also get this C63 AMG, this OD RS5, this Corvette C8 and this beautiful Mustang. Yes, everything is included in this course. Right, so I have this PSD prepared and you will find the link in the description and we will use it to create our own license plate. So all you have to do is to change the text here. You can do whatever you want. Of course, you can change the, the font. You can change the color of uh, the text, right? Uh, you can add images or whatever you need to do. And once you are happy with the result, you come here in file and exportation and there is this thing in english i don't know how how it's called it's quick export in png and we do need a png for uh, blender all right so this is how you will customize your own license plate okay back in blender we are going to import the png we have just created and the idea is to put this image on this uh, plate first shift a image and you need to have this uh, option activated images as planes and if it's not the case for you you go in edit preferences you go in add-ons and you search for planes and you need to activate this add-on import images as planes if it's the case now you will have this function so image images as plane you click on it and you just import the png you have created in photoshop in order to see the result you might want to be in material preview mode okay so z and material preview mode or you just click here let me move this here and for the rotation z you put zero press one on your keyboard to be in front of the car concerning the car i'm just using a car from the transportation add-on but of course you can use any car you want and if you're using a car from the transportation add-on you need to click on make editable for animation because we want to have access to this little support so you click on the image and the idea is to place it on this little support so let me move it around here and we need to scale it down of course so s and scale but for me i know that the values is around 0.115 the values might be different for you so you just do your thing i will press one again to go in front view and move the thing around so g and x something like that okay now the issue we have is you notice that the support has a little uh, bending okay we have to bend our image to do that but at the moment our image is just a plane so so there is no room for us to to bend it we need to add some resolution to this uh, to this image so there are several ways to do that but i think one of the easiest is just you go in modifiers you click on add modifier you go on, uh, I think it's generate, and you have this uh, subdivision surface. You click on it, and you will have this uh, strange little thing, and you click on simple. Now we just added some subdivision to this image. Next step is to uh, put this image and to bend it on this support. And there is one easy way to do that. You just click on add modifier, another one. There is deform. And here you have shrink wrap. 
okay, nothing happens yet. You need to tell Blender on what you want to apply this image. So you select the support like this. And now the image is inside the support. <laughs> and obviously we don't want that. So here you can play with the offset to fix that. But one advice is you press shift on your keyboard and then only you move these values. So it will be very slight movements. So I think uh, 0.04 is okay for me. Let me go in front view. Maybe... I would like to scale it a little bit more, something like that. That's it, guys. This is uh, how you install a license plate on your car. As you saw, it's very easy and fast. Don't hesitate if you have questions in the comment sections, and I talk to you soon. Bye-bye.